Hello, everyone. How are you? Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today, we're going to be doing another cash budget envelope stuffing. This is for my May 2021 paycheck number two. So today, I'm going to be stuffing $520 total. $420 is going to be going to my budget categories. And $100 is going to be going to my newly started sinking funds. So any money that I have left over from my budget previously is going to be going to my $1 and $5 savings challenge. So let's check and see how much we have left. So I have a new binder. I actually made this one myself. I have the information linked down below. But let's see what we have here. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So I have $28 left from my miscellaneous spending from my previous budget. So this $10 I'm actually going to save separately and these singles are going to go towards my $1 savings challenge. Now, the other budget that I have money left over from is gas. Everything else I actually used up previously from my budget. So this is actually good. I usually don't have too much money left over. So this is five. So let's see, plus five. So I have $33 left over. That $5 is also going to go to my $5 savings challenge. Now, I already know that I have 520 total, so I'm gonna separate this money. And today I actually have a $100 bill, which I usually don't, but I decided to have at least one large denomination for my breakdown today. So I'm gonna separate this money. And again, this is just to keep me organized keep me very accountable for how I want to spend my money and just to make sure that I'm on a clear path and I also want to share my path with you guys. I was a very firm believer in a lot of debiting. I used to use my credit cards a lot. Now I'm just in a better place financially so I'm just going to move this money over a bit. Okay so we're going to get started. We're going to get started with miscellaneous. Miscellaneous is going to get, and I really don't need my calculator right now because I know what's what. I already did the denominations. So miscellaneous is going to get $40 today, and that's going to be one $20 bill and two fives and 10 singles. So one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this should be $40. So let's double check. So I have 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So that's $40 for miscellaneous. Now, I decreased my miscellaneous spending because I actually increased money from another category, which is my hair. I'm going to be doing something different with my hair, and I can't wait to reveal to you guys exactly how I look, but that's going to be in a, another video. So next is going to be gas. Gas is going to be getting my usual $80. So this is going to be 420s. Now, I know I mentioned that I have been driving a little bit more than I usually do, but I decided to keep it at 80 until I actually really start going more places. So let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80. I'm actually okay for now with the $80. I thought I was gonna increase it, like I said, but I'm actually okay with it, so I'm content. Next on the list is groceries. Groceries is gonna be getting $60. So groceries, I broke it down into two 20s, that's one, two, and one ten dollar bill. And this one is actually gonna also be getting ten singles. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's double check, make sure it's 60. So we have 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So this is going to be getting $60 again for groceries. Now I don't need as many groceries as before, so that's why I don't have it at my usual 100 to 120. But I'm okay with that. I don't want to be wasteful when I'm going grocery shopping, so it really works out in my favor. The next category is laundry. Laundry is going to be getting $20, so that's just a simple $20 bill, so I'm stuffing it in here. Next on the list is hair. Hair is going to be getting $150, so I usually do $50. But because I'm getting some other things done to my hair to get ready for summer, we're going to be doing $150. So I'll be using this $100 bill, two 20s, and 10 singles. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to double check that just to be sure. 100, 120, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150 dollars. Pains me to pay this much for my hair, but thankfully I do not do it too often. Only a few times a year I really end up spending this much money on my hair. So again, it's okay. I'm budgeting for it. I'm not overextending myself. It works out perfectly. Last in the budget category is my nails. My nails are going to be getting $70. And the breakdown is going to be two 20s, one $10 bill. No, I'm sorry. Yep, one $10 bill. And two fives. And 10 singles. So let's count that out. One, two, three, four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. So nails is going to be getting 70, and this is perfect. So I am all done with my budget categories. So excited to be using my new budget planner that I actually made myself. Obviously, I didn't make the actual binder, but I did do the labeling. So it's really cool. I really enjoy doing this. I feel like it's such a great hobby, and it's also a great way to make additional um, side hustle income. So if you're interested, I'll link my information below on how to get your hands on these. So next we're going to be doing my sinking funds. I had introduced my sinking funds in my last video. And I told you guys I would be letting you know what my sinking funds consist of. So I have my car maintenance that I started in my last video as well as that snowball. So I'm going to start with that and then I'll let you guys know about the other ones. So car maintenance is going to be getting $50. So it's going to be two 20s. And one ten dollar bill. So twenty, forty, fifty. So I'm gonna put that in here and I actually again I'll do the actual budget sheet separately. I don't wanna waste any time by doing that with you guys, writing it down, but yeah, so I always make sure I write in how much money I'm putting in. The next is gonna be that snowball. That snowball is also be going to be getting $50. And that's going to be, again, two 20s and one $10 bill. So 20 40 50 So I'm starting out by focusing on these two categories right now because these are what are most important to me at this present time. So just to let you guys know, I do have other sinking funds that I wanted to let you guys know about. So I actually have a sinking fund called Baby, 
Um, I am getting older and I would like to have a baby soon. So I actually have a sinking fund set up for that to save money for any costs that might come up if I'm out on maternity leave or anything that I need outside of the money I already put aside um, for my baby. So that beauty, beauty's also one of my um, sinking funds. Beauty could be anything like hair products, makeup, um, skincare products, anything that I need in order to keep myself maintained. Savings, this is savings. I'm actually starting to save for my future wedding. I'm not engaged yet, but it is something that is going to be coming up sooner than later so I started saying for that as well and then vacation vacation is also my second mind I labeled it vacay well actually I had a custom made vacay this is before I actually started doing my own labels but vacay is me planning for any vacations anything that's you know important to me as far as a trip and I want to have some money put aside for it so that I do have some ideas about where I want to travel to this summer of course, very low key because of the pandemic, but I also want to make sure that I'm being accountable by having cash on hand and not swiping my debit card all over the place wherever I decide to go. So thank you guys so much for tuning into my video. Please look out for my next. If you haven't already, hit that notification bell. Subscribe so you can know when I have my other you know, videos coming up. I really appreciate your support. So thank you so much.